This microphone, the Rode NT USB Mini, has always been a popular option for streamers looking for a high quality microphone that won't break the bank. But last night, this got a huge and free software update that might just make this the best streamer microphone under $100. Let's take a look. So the NT USB Mini has been around for a couple of years now. It's a condenser microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern and a built-in pop filter. It comes with an included desk mount or it can be attached to a mic arm and it comes in at just shy of $100. So what's changed then? Well, yesterday Rode released a new application for Windows and Mac OS called Rode Connect, which completely elevates this microphone to a new level. What it allows you to do is to mix all of your audio sources together. So your microphone, your game audio and your Discord chat, and then it handles all the routing for you so you can send just one audio source to your streaming software and can control and mix all of your audio from one place. It also doubles as software that you can use to record podcasts with separate channels for each of your guests, but I'm gonna focus here on the live streamer's perspective. Now, those of you that watched my Elgato Wave review might recognize this software as something that closely resembles Wavelink, and you're not wrong, but there are some key differences. Firstly, Rode Connect supports up to four separate microphones on a single computer, whereas Wavelink currently only supports one microphone. This is obviously a big advantage if you're doing a two or more person stream, or if you ever want to have a guest on for a podcast. Being able to control four separate USB microphones from a single computer is something that used to cause issues. Red Connect also allows you to add some filters and effects to your microphones, such as a noise gate, compressor, a big bottom effect, and an oral exciter, and those can really enhance the sound of your voice. Currently, Elgato's Wavelink doesn't support adding any filters to your voice, so you have to do this through the streaming software and adding some VST plugins. But one area where Wavelink wins out is it allows you to record nine separate channels consisting of your microphone plus eight others, effectively allowing you finer control over more audio sources. Whereas Rode Connect currently supports three separate channels consisting of your microphone, system sounds, and your chat application. I don't see any reason why Rode won't be able to increase this over time so that you can have more channels and more control over different applications because it's just about them adding another virtual device on your computer. So let's test out the NT USB Mini with Rode Connect and get it set up with OBS Studio so we can see exactly how it sounds and what kind of control you get for your live streams. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is head to the Rode website and download the Connect app, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Rode do require you to choose an operating system between Windows and Mac and enter an email, but you won't be included in their newsletters as long as you don't check the boxes. So it's just for software updates. Once that's downloaded, unzip the file and just install the Rode Connect app by going through the wizard. Once that's finished installing, launch the Rode Connect app and then you can connect the NT USB mini to the computer with the USB cable. Once you're connected, you can click get started. You can see here that my uh, NT USB mini requires a firmware update. So I'm just gonna do that now. And if you have the same, obviously update that so you can get the best functionality out of the NT USB mini with Rode Connect. Now that the firmware update is complete, we can drag our NT USB mini into any of the four channels here. So I'm gonna drag it into channel one. And as you can see here, you can plug in four different NT USB minis into a single computer and still use all the functionality of Rode Connect. But for me, it's just one microphone, so drag it into one and then click next. Next, we can drag our system and virtual devices into these available channels. These are effectively gonna be our system sounds, so all the sounds coming through our PC, like our game, and our virtual device is gonna be our chat application so something like discord and then click next okay so here we are in the road connect app and you can see we have three separate faders one for our microphone one for our system sounds and one for our chat application first of all though let's look at what controls we get over the microphone so by clicking on the channel we bring up some options for the microphone controls such as the gain of the microphone so we want to end up in this green section here as well as options to enable the noise gate and compressor that run on the digital signal processor built into the microphone. You also get some options here to enable the Aphex Oral Exciter and Big Bottom effects. These are effects that are typically found on much more expensive uh, interfaces, things like the Rodecaster Pro, uh, but you can enable them here to enhance the sound of your voice. So next, let's make sure that we set up our system sounds to be running through this system channel. So on Windows, you need to head to your sound settings, which you can get to from the control panel, um, and just make sure your output device here is set to system output road connect. What this effectively means is that now any sounds that happen on your PC are gonna be coming through this system channel. The only thing that we're gonna separate out is our team chat into this virtual channel. So to get Discord audio to come through this virtual device here, we wanna open up Discord, go to our user settings, 
voice and video, and we want to set our input device to be virtual input road connect and our output device to be virtual output road connect. So find these two devices, make sure they're set up in Discord, and then you can close back out of Discord. And all of your Discord audio now is gonna be coming through this virtual channel. So the last thing that we need to do is actually set up our streaming software to take this mix of audio as a single input and make sure that our stream can hear it. So open up your streaming software of choice. For me, that's OBS Studio. Go to settings and then audio tab and make sure that we set the mic slash auxiliary audio to stream input road connect. So make sure you have this one selected, add that as the audio source, and you can see here my microphone, but also my Discord chat and any system sounds, my game sound will be coming through this single channel. And if you need to make any changes to any of your audio, you can do that from the road connect app. This is where you're gonna control all aspects of your audio. So your teammates, your system sounds, your game sound, your microphone, all controlled in road connect. And then OBS is just taking that one audio mix and sending it out to your stream. Okay, so I've swapped the audio over now from the shotgun microphone I was using before to the $100 NT USB, so you can hear exactly how it sounds. One thing I would recommend, like I do with all microphones, is not to use the included desk mounts because they just make the microphone too far away from your mouth and much closer to your keyboard sounds. Get it up on a boom arm like the Rode PSA1 or even just a cheap Amazon alternative and get that microphone closer to your mouth. As you can see here in the Rode Connect app, I have all of the options enabled and my gain set to around 25. But if I disable these effects, so this is how my microphone sounds without any of the effects enabled. I'm gonna enable them again. I do think it's a little bit limiting that these are just checkboxes and you have no extra controls. I guess it's a little bit more uh, beginner friendly that you can just enable a noise gate with an option, but Personally, the nerd that I am, I would love to dive in and be able to adjust the threshold of the gate and the compressor and things like that. I would also love if Rode built in functionality to be able to mute and change volumes of sources into something like the Stream Deck. I realize that's probably not gonna happen because effectively Rode and Elgato are competitors and they've built a very similar application to each other. So it's probably a bit of a pipe dream, but at least if Rode could implement some way of setting keyboard shortcuts to at least mute certain sources, that would be really handy for us streamers. I'm excited to see where this app goes. I said before, I'd love for them to add a few more channels. So it's a bit more competitive with the Wavelink app, but the fact that you can record multiple microphones in one PC is really great. And I'd love to see is Rode going to go down the same path that Shaw has done with the MV7 and turn some of their really popular broadcast mics like the um, Rode Procaster into USB alternatives that will use the Rode Connect app? Hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, do give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what do you think of the $100 or sub $100 NT USB Mini now that the Rode Connect app allows loads more control over your stream audio. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Jimmy Fallon has the budget and the, the, the ability to hire a team that can that can make this good. <laughs> you know, if he if he reached out to me, I'd I'd do him a deal. I told him I told you about this last week, you know, ten grand and I'll help you set up OBS. It's easy. Jimmy, come on, come on. We got we got connections for you, man. I mean, come on, Jimmy, just hit me up. I'm only a Google away. <laughs>